Welcome to my channel. This is Sam. I'm playing Starfield. Uh, where were we actually? Oh, we were going after the secondary point or secondary something. I'm still crippled, but I'm going. search more right Shit. I this is last night, isn't it? Here. No one even realized it was a living thing until someone got it under a microscope and saw it had cells. Can't be cultivated anywhere but Londinium. Real marvel. Nuisances can can do that? Holy mother. You just saw that, right? You would tell me if I was losing my mind. 
that heat leech became a terramorph. The pests that have snuck onto every planet are baby terramorphs. Heat leeches hide out in ships, sneak away after landing, and then with time they transform. We, That's why my first we just was found out how guys. terramorphs move between planets. That I don't have an answer for right now. But if they share a genome, like most nymphs and adults do, the microbes should have no problem dealing with heat leeches and terramorphs. The Asilis will have to look into. But given what we know about the creatures, I, mean, I wouldn't be shocked to find that they've got an appetite for both. Pretty Major is right. But if what we just saw, if that's possible, the Lazarus plant, it's clearly an accelerant for the terramorph, a heat leech transformation process. Make one into the other in an instant. But that means if anyone knew about this, they could trigger a terramorph spawning. You could sneak a leech into a city or even multiple leeches into a place like New Atlantis. Good God. The attack on New Atlantis, does this... Could someone have set that up? But first, you'd have to know the truth about all this. Well, we're never gonna know if you don't catch that thing. Get after it! We may proceed. Go! I can't believe what we just witnessed. How do I equip this? Timing of that one. It could 
couldn't have been just luck that it happened right when we were asking the cabinet to do something about the terramorphs. These attacks. I think someone planned them to set all this in motion. I can't. At least, I didn't think it could. But maybe if we're right about this, someone found a way. A plant this rare showing up unbidden on two different UC planets. I think it's more than just possible that human hands were involved here. But it doesn't answer any of the big questions. Who could pull something like this off? And why? standing in the universe as close as equivalent to hell rolls it over. If we're gonna do anything to prevent more terramorph attacks, human cause or otherwise, we need that final sample. Roger that. Kaiser, get us into the spaceport. The entrance is this way.
things like sweet rolls. Option Hell, that I, I could have speaking. said his uh, her father was in what he knew about the Lazarus plan and the terror force and all this. But I really did not have any idea about okay. that he was really involved like this. The recording said it all. He saw the potential of the plant as a weapon and hid it away. He killed those people to keep them from sharing what they might have seen. Condemned this whole city to death. He's a monster. He's and this is the prize sample of humanity that you see decided to let live. Yes. Exactly what we all thought he was. But if the plant was used to trigger the attacks, could Faye Ventus have been involved in the massacre on New Atlantis? Good point. Deal with one monster at a time. Let's go get that final sample. Victor in my book. Can you get a moment? Can we talk?
I think another Terramorph is going to attack us. That one we just saw. Or any other one. Maybe, I don't know. Looks like it.
We're done. Final sample secure. All wrapped up. Time to get the hell out of here. Percival, you should unplug and find somewhere we can talk. Privately. On it. See you soon. Forward this for one. Ten thousand credits for this. Oh, we need to talk to Sam. Go. I forgot about that. I got you for this many 
Come on, I'm getting frostbite over frostbite. Move it, Sam.
I need to see a doctor. change can you do? Abey, yaar, niche se hi to jana tha. Yaar, baan aise dikhata, upar dikhata, fir upar jaane ke baad kuch karta hu, fir dikhata, idhar se jana. कुछ है ही नहीं मैंने सब कुछ दे दिया होगा कोई ड्रेस वेस नहीं है मेरे पास मतलब सेकेंडरी ड्रेस हाँ बिना हेलमेट के रह सकते हैं अपन ये भी नया हेलमेट है हेलमेट खोल दिया अपन ने
Yeah, we found out. Responsible for the attack. 
deal with you. They wanted to pretend I didn't exist. And so I used their blind eye to my advantage. Still, establishing a back channel to Orlais via the UC recovery teams was painstaking work. I've led campaigns less nerve-wracking. They believed they were luring in wanted criminals, but were in fact delivering precisely encoded slates, filled with instructions invisible to any but their recipient, dropped off at just the right moments to fall into the proper hands, all without the UC realizing whom you were actually dealing with. Slow work. <laughs> but as you can see, ultimately effective. things you can just talk out of this situation Just something good.
Oh, is it possible only to? Oh man. Digipics to open this one and what is there inside? Shit fuck nothing. I don't get shit. I don't get fucking shit man. What the hell is this machine? Okay, so already 57 minutes so I will not continue any further I will just end the video here so thank you guys for watching stay tuned for more and don't forget to subscribe I will be back with more exciting videos until then stay tuned and have a good day guys bye see you soon take care so we'll start from talking with Hedrian uh, here and then we'll go for something else because it's going to be a long conversation because it involves her father being framed or her father just doing what he is doing and we'll just leave him be so that's going to be a very long conversation between me and Hadrian so I'll just end the video here bye guys have a good day